How you doing? Scotty Bear here, back with another video. This video on how you can take Cash App with your WooCommerce products and Venmo. Uh, this is a product here that I would uh, rather not take any more PayPal payments from, mostly because of PayPal being such a uh, friendly fraud uh payment processor I, I mean honestly uh this particular product I, I mean uh marketing lists and stuff like that are, are very prone to friendly fraud and uh you know i'll get people that buys this and and charge back now a good amount of people that buy this also are totally fine uh but uh frankly um you know i, I would like a little more protections so if you're unaware, uh, Cash App, Venmo, uh, I will say Venmo, uh, you could in, end up in a little bit of a problem because uh, Venmo is not a, uh, you know, it's a peer-to-peer, -peer, you know, payments, uh, you know, app. And, you know, it's more for giving money to people that you know, stuff like that. And, you know, not necessarily for products or services. So that being said uh that is a disclaimer there but i'm about to show you how you can use this little tricky method and uh take payments through um woocommerce and uh you know with venmo and cash app so we are going to edit this uh, product here um as you see we're going to scroll down to the second field here we're going to expand it out and uh, we're going to add media. So I, I already saved time here. I already have these two um, QR codes cropped and uh, ready to insert uh, in, into the post. And I'm going to put in the caption. This one is Cash App. Uh, my... Uh, And then um, maybe you want to put the price in there too. Whatever. I mean, you should uh, you know be creative with it. I, I think this is a creative way to use this here. And uh, I'm going to move myself over. We're going to insert that. Uh, if it uh, will cooperate. Okay. The thing to do here is... Go that way, and then uh, the next one we are going to do is insert Venmo. So I'm going to also put that in there too, as it'll show up here in just a second, maybe, or maybe not. Ah, maybe not. Let's try this again. Again, I'm going to put uh, 375. That's the cost. I'm going to insert into the post. As of course, it went the wrong place. Silly me. So uh, another little tricky tip here is you can use is... Uh, you can put them side by side and uh, this will allow them when they visit your site uh, you can take away the PayPal and uh, basically uh, when they come to your site and they're looking to buy they will see these QR codes point the their you know cell phone to your website and be able to pay you immediately and then uh, It'll help you avoid any chargeback issues. Because, I mean, friendly fraud is becoming a, a very big problem. And, uh, you know, frankly, if uh, these uh, payment processes are not going to offer you any protections, uh, it's important that you try to make protect or build in protections for yourself. Uh, again, you know, other products are mostly fine, but uh, email lists, non-tangible products, as uh, PayPal calls them, 
And, uh, you know, I win a good amount of chargebacks from, you know, that uh, being the case, uh, you know, because, uh, you know, it's mostly okay, right? I, but uh, on the times I don't win, the scammer makes off with uh, my, uh, you know, my hard work. And, uh, you know, frankly, I, this is how I combat that. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Have a wonderful weekend. Thanks for watching.